Hello. How's it going? Well, you know it's kind of kind of hard on the interstate. You know, they call me Pastor Chick. Pastor. Pastor Chick. This is this is my card. Let me give you a card also. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm recording you. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, when I was about 66 years old, God woke me up. I was actually in Arizona, down in Quartzsite. You were okay? I was staying in the desert down in Quartzsite, and uh, ah, God woke me up at midnight, and he said, I want you to walk across America. And I said, wait a minute, I must be hallucinating. So uh, the second night, he woke me up at midnight again precisely at midnight and he said I'm talking about walking across America and I said I'm an old man you know I, I can't uh, I can't handle this thing we need a young guy so the third night he woke me up at midnight and uh, I said okay I can't argue with God now I got to figure out what is this about so God started teaching me and um, you know little by little over a year and a half, he taught me what he wanted me to do. He said, I want you to walk across America from coast to coast, hand carry the Martin Cross, which is a symbol of honor and respect. I want you to salute every passing person to show respect. And I want you to pray for every community that you pass through, every ethnic group, and our nation. He said, our nation needs to get God back in to the scheme of things. You see, God has been pushed out of the schools, God has been pushed out of society, and if we don't get God back in this thing, our children are going to be not having a chance. So, when did you start? I started April 23rd of this year. It was my 19th wedding anniversary, actually. Oh, okay. I started from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. Okay. And, uh, boy, was I surprised at how bad a shape I was in. <laughs> I did not train for this at all. You know, I was 68 when I began. Okay. I'll be 69 next month. Well, no, this month, mm -hmm. in about less than three weeks. So I call myself 69 now, really. So, um... You didn't do any walking at all? No, I didn't like walking. Okay. You know, that's one thing God does for me. I didn't like to wash dishes, he got me a job washing dishes. I didn't like to change diapers, he got me a job changing diapers. I didn't like walking. Now he told me to work walking. My, my wife is the one that likes to walk. Okay. So what did you do before you retired? You know, uh, I was an electronics technician. I was in business. In the 80s. I was in the video game business. I was not a godly man. I, I did all sorts of things to try to um, get my way and get a lot of money. And I got rich. I got very rich. But uh, my body was being destroyed because I became out of You know, I got so much money, I started drinking. Yes. And, uh, you know, I did a, you know, I did some drugs, but, you know, the alcohol was what I liked so yeah. much. Beer is what I like. And so um, I stayed drunk all the time, but I, I kept making money. But then my body started deteriorating, and God came to me and He said, You know, I was raised as an orphan in Montana, although I'm from Tennessee. And uh, God said, You know, you were raised in a church part of your life, and you sort of know what's right and wrong. Now I want you to work for me. And I said, What? This is crazy. Here I am. I'm crippled with one third of the world. I'm too an I'm an uh, alcoholic. I'm, I'm just a lost cause. I'm totally a lost cause. So he said, you know, I can make you a new man if you want to be a new man. But you got to work for me. And you know, I was a businessman. I said, this is a good business deal if I can get well, you know. Yeah. And so I started out with a sort of to trick God, you know, like maybe he could get me well and then I could just go back and do what I want to do. But it didn't work that way. You know, in three months, God cleaned me up. He took away my rheumatoid arthritis. He took away my bipolar disease. He took away my alcoholism. He took away my heart disease. And then he took away leukemia. 
And you know, I started working for him. And you know what? I enjoyed it. You know, I used to be a racist. And you know, the black people were on my hit list. But you know, after God got a hold of me, I loved everybody. I loved everybody. You know, I'm, um, I'm, I'm transitioning now. I, I pretty much left the state of Tennessee. I still have an address there. Uh, I have an address in California. I like Arizona, to be honest with you. I like uh, Prescott. I like... Uh, I really like Prescott. I like uh, Flagstaff. And uh, if I can get my wife convinced, I'd like to move to, to Prescott. Really. Okay, you started in April. I started in April. Uh, uh, any problems so far? Any major problems? You know, I had, a, I had a knee. My right knee gave out on me in North Carolina. I was dropping my right leg. And uh, I had a preacher meet me. In, uh, in this little town of uh, North Carolina. I forgot the name of the town. He walked with me a couple miles and he, he noticed I was dragging my leg and, and I was saying, oh, oh, and I was in pain. He said, you know what? We need to pray for your leg. And I said, yeah, I think you're right. So when we got to the town square, the newspaper reporter was there and everything, and he just got on his knees and he just put his hand on my knees and he prayed for me. Pray for that need to be fixed. And you know, it didn't happen right away. I walked another two and a half miles or so, and then I, I begged God, I said, please, help me with this need because you know what? You tell me to walk across the neck and not drag my leg that far. So, you know, my leg was miraculously healed. I started walking like a normal person. Now, when you started out, how much did you weigh? You know, I weighed about... Uh, 170. I've lost a little bit of weight, yeah. maybe five pounds, but you know I, I've gained muscle. Okay. Because the muscle is heavier than than weight. And how much are you train a day? I'm averaging maybe 12 or 13 now. I had to cut back because I have I have plantar fasciitis okay. in my feet, and now I develop runner's knee. So what do you do at night? At night I sleep a long time. <laughs> <laughs> my wife uh, and I, uh, you know. Maintain the website. Yeah. Well, what is the website? It's on here. The web. Well, the the one that's on my shirt is the same one that's on the card. It goes to the same place. WalkingCoastToCoast.com using numeral two. But we have a blog. We have Facebook event page. Uh, we have our sponsors page. We have the press page. We have the TV news page. We've been on 30 TV stations. About 150 newspapers. Whoa. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, and radio stations. You know. I, I, I personally, I personally go to that. And then we have 30 different TV stations. I've been national, international. Uh, it's, Do you have a date that you expect to get to California? You know, I've targeted April 29th. One year it Huh? One year. About one year. Yeah. Uh, what it was, some people from over uh, foreign countries wanted to fly in and greet me, and I had to give them a date. Yeah. So I'm racing now to get there on time because, like today, I'm walking 14 miles, but yesterday I only walked 10 miles. So, and, and my legs and feet are not, they're not doing as good as I wish, you know. Uh, at my age, it's not easy. Every step I take is kind of painful. Well, you're very lucky because it usually just be about 20 degrees out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is a beautiful time to walk. Well, you see, what I believe, excuse me, what I believe is this. I'm on a mission for God, okay? I'm on a mission for God, and God has changed the weather for me. I believe that. I've walked through, in Gallup, I walked through snow, you know, that, that snow, I walked through it, up to my, over my ankles, and so snow slice and all that, and I said, Lord, if I have to walk in this kind of weather, you know I will do it. And get, then he said this beautiful weather, it was good, you know? I, I just trust God. I just trust God. He's worked so many miracles. So what kind of response you getting from people, ordinary people? Um, you know, I've had hundreds, literally hundreds of people, and give me blessings. I've had people stop and give me money, but I don't ask for them. I don't want them. I had poor people try to give me money. I said, 
listen, this is not what this is about. This is a prayer walk. I'm not asking for money. So many people walk for money, you know. They, they try to gather up money. But uh, money for me, you know, God owns all the money. So if I need money, somebody's going to come and help. In fact, a man sent me $100. I had car trouble. I had a little car trouble. And a man sent me $100 and said, I just, Lord told me you needed some money. And, and it took care of the car trouble. You know, it's, those things happen to me. I, I don't know why. No, you know what? Um, I'm a poor man. I'm on Social Security, and I have a little Vietnam War pension. But I was able to qualify for a loan on an RV. I got an old RV, and we travel in the RV, and we park it at churches. Usually churches give us a free place to park. Some of these RV parks are giving us uh, real good prices. Like the state park, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, where's that, Winslow. I think there's a state park going to give me real good prices. You know? and, uh, some Christians who own parks, you know, they've even let me stay for free. So, like I said, God commissioned it, and so God's taking care of it. So you're a veteran? Yeah, I'm a veteran of Vietnam. I was two and a half years in the Air Force. And um, that's one of the positive things that Americans like about my walk. You know, if they're not spiritually or religiously inclined, they like the veteran part of it. And I, I advocate for veterans' issues. I, I, I advocate for good care of veterans. And uh, I get out of my... If I need health care, I go to the VA. Uh, but I don't take drugs. I, I, I'm like uh, the, the Native Americans. I believe in, in the, the ways of the great spirit. I like the natural ways. Um, I like diets, I like herbs, I like sunshine, I like fresh air, I like exercise. So all of my diseases have been healed naturally, not by doctors. Are you worried that when you get this done, you go back to your ordinary life, that people will forget about you? Well, I'm not worried about people forgetting about me. They, you know, they're forgetting about me now, but uh, you know, what I don't want them to forget about is God. You know. I want to make an impression on them, not for me, but for God. If they will get right with God, if they will take care of business with God, I'll say my mission was accomplished. But you know I'm not going to stop walking. God has already told me, I'm probably going to go to Uganda and walk across Uganda. I'm a missionary to Uganda. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to be the first white man to walk across Uganda. <laughs> it's just a skip and a hop for me. But you know what? It's hard because there's no uh, infrastructure and there's no resources. Are you getting any houses at all about the interstate? You know what? I was stopped in New Mexico and uh, the guy said, we got a call that you were walking too close to the fog line. And I said, it's interesting, today I'm walking in the gravel. And uh, I think somebody just didn't like the American flag or something. Okay. And so he said, you know, we don't like pedestrians pedestrian is not supposed to be on the interstate. And I said, well, you're the first one to tell me that. He said, well, you know what? He said, the statute actually says, if you're walking facing traffic, you're not doing business or soliciting rides, you can walk. Oh. I said, well, I'm legal then. He said, yeah, you're legal. <laughs> but he said, we don't like them. We don't, you know, it's risky. Two it's risky. Hours. Now, in Arizona, you nobody's given me a definitive. Before I started this walk, I did trace my route backwards, and I went to the ADOT, and there's a lady, and I lost her card, I forgot her name, and a year and a half ago, she said, you you a little permit, because you're going to be by yourself, you can walk on the interstate, if there's no frontage roads event. That's what she told me. Now, I ask these ADOT guys all the time. And they said, oh, I don't know, I don't know. But they, all, they never stop, and they never say anything. I've had the police go by me, they just honk and wave. You know, they know I'm carrying an American flag, I'm not a dangerous person. I'm not a drunk, staggering around the interstate. You see me walking off, I even walk behind the guardrail, did you see that? Yeah, I, I saw that. You know, if somebody has a blowout or something, I don't want them to crush me against the, the guardrail. I've got plenty of room to move. 
Did anybody stop? Did people stop? Yeah, I've had uh, two or three stops on the interstate. Whoa. Yeah, take chances. I had them turn around in the media and come back. You know, that's a $100 fine in, in Mex yeah. New Mexico, or uh, I think it's $80 fine. You know, um, people get excited about what I'm doing, and they, they like the salute. I've saluted thousands of cars and people, and they like it. They really like it. You know, the Bible says to see others greater than yourself, and that salute is a, a symbol of that. Even though it's a military thing, a subordinate salute is spirit and message. What is your name, sir? I'm Bill Donovan, but the guy up in the red. Mm -hmm. I would talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be at some time. <laughs> okay, okay. And you're... I'm Donovan Quintero. Pleased you. to meet you guys. Yeah. I, I really wanted the Navajo Times to pick me up because it's a widely distributed paper, and you guys might be able to get some of the truth out about it. Uh, but Independent did not quite get all of it. Right? They didn't? No. They, in fact... Because it was, it was so off. But um, they got a nice picture of me. And the guy was walking with me. And uh, don't call me Reverend. They called me Reverend. I, I'm, a, I'm very offended by that. I'm not a Reverend. Okay. I'm just a pastor. I'm just a pastor. Uh, who did it? Who did the interview? Do you remember? No. Man or woman? He was a, he was a man. Roddy Richards. Roddy Richards. Was he the gentleman with the glasses, maybe a mustache, and uh, Hispanic? You know, the guy that came out, it was on, in the snow. It was in bad weather. I don't think he wanted to be there. Well, did he eat that long hair? Black? I don't remember that. Okay. No. He, was, he was a nice gentleman, but he just asked a few questions. He didn't really give an interview, you know, just a few questions. Okay. Take a few shots. Cable agent. Yeah. It could be that. Yeah, well, you can find out and just get the 30th. January 30th paper. Okay. And it's on uh, A5 or something. Like that. Okay. It's a big picture. Okay. And uh, just no story, just a caption. Okay. Oh, that's it. Uh, Short caption. Yeah. Okay. That was that was yeah that was hard. Yeah. I don't know. You had you had bald 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 headed guy. He had a hat on I think. It's real cold out. Yeah. I don't uh, I don't, you know, I don't yeah. know. But it's been a pleasure meeting you. It's a pleasure okay. meeting you. Can I get your, your full name, sir? Oh, uh, okay. I'll give you that card, right? Oh, yeah, oh sorry, that's right. That's it's right, right on there. Okay. Um, just Pastor Walter Chick McGill. Okay. Just right there. And um, the uh, how many hours a day do you walk? It varies from four to seven. It's according to, you know, how many people stop me, yeah. how many people I visit with. I try to rest uh, one little short time. I rested at the last exit 325. I had walked four miles. When I get to the next exit, I will have walked 10 miles. Then I'll walk four more miles beyond that. Okay. My wife will be waiting for me in the pace car. Too bad you didn't get a picture of the pace car. Yeah, it's, it's the American flag drawn on it. Yeah. I did see it uh, coming, getting ready to get on the interstate going back. Oh, yeah. It's uh, full graphics wrap, yeah. She's sitting down at the next yeah. exit then. Bob was, uh, her, Bob was her name. She's yeah. the backbone of the whole thing. She keeps me uh, with water. She keeps me with food. She massages me. She, uh, she you know, gets news media set up. And all well, 19 years. We started on our 19th wedding anniversary wow. uh, with a kiss and a prayer when we started the walk. She's a beauty. She's she's a beauty, man. She's not a she's not a Reagan beauty, but she's a beauty. You know what I mean? Her soul is beauty. The soul is beautiful. Everybody likes her. Everybody likes her. Not everybody likes me, but everybody likes her. You know, I'm I'm a I'm a controversial figure. You know, I'm against abortion. You know, I'm against homosexual marriage and stuff. Um, but I get along with homosexual people. Are you Republican? Pardon me. Republican. You know, I'm not even a politician. I don't even get into politics. I don't vote for people. I, I have a religious belief that says if you vote for people and they do wrong, you will be partaker in their wrong. That, that's my take on it. So I pray for people. That's what I do. I pray for politicians. Politicians, I've, I've, I don't know if I've ever known a straight politician, totally straight. I don't know if I've ever known a straight preacher. I, I've met very few straight people, period. But I, I tell you, without being arrogant, I'm a straight person. 
What I tell you is what's going to happen. And what I do is going to be right. And if you show me I'm wrong, I'll change it. That's my view. Thank you, sir. God bless you guys. Thank you, sir. And I have a safe journey. Well, I, I was a little worried about you stopping me on the interstate, but it looks like we got away with it. You know, I, I think we pulled off the road. You are far enough? Yeah. Okay. I think we'll be okay. Well, with that said... You better get up and go, right? <laughs> I need to shoot the video of you walking away. Okay, that'd be good. Thank you very much. Thank you again, sir. Well, you, you do some video? Do you do online stuff? Uh, it depends on whether or not they decide to publish it. Okay. Uh, they don't publish all of them, so I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they might. I, uh, I'm not, I don't know. And I would say just keep a lookout for it. Okay, you got my email address. I would appreciate you sort of informing me about where I might find anything. Yeah. Sure. Well, there were probably, probably, probably in the hard copy, right? In the newspaper. Most likely. And, and they wouldn't have sent you out if, you, if they weren't going to put some in the paper. No, it but it's the online thing you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.